All right, welcome everyone to our November Zoom training. I am super excited to be joined by Executive District Manager Sherry Teeter. And Sherry actually is going to share with us tonight her takeaways after attending a Jerry Rosenthal's Champion Summit. You know, he is a coach. Uh, for many of our Arbonne leaders, and he goes across the nation holding his champion summits. And um, he is said to be, and I know um, Sherry's going to probably say more about this, but he is said to be the coach that yells with love. Yeah, and that's so right. He's, he's very loud in his um, trainings. And then after Sherry finishes, then I'll close with some thoughts about um, reaching our goals in November. So Sherry, I'm going to turn it over to you. The floor is yours. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Kim. And thanks for asking me to do this, actually, because I was thinking about it and, you know, how life gets so busy. So it's good to be doing it right away because I am fired up about this particular experience. Um, we all have listened to... Hi, everyone, by the way. <laughs> um, I have listened to so many um you know different you know sound clouds and so forth and i had never really listened to um jerry so it was kind of interesting i listened to a couple before i went but he is just the most as, as many of you probably do know he is so powerful so energetic um full of energy and you're right he he shouts with love and that's good because you know in the afternoon you're not falling asleep this he he had us crying laughing he's so emotional um and like you said, he's, he's very much Arbonne. So that he's, he's a coach for many Arbonne leaders and he does these summits. So, and as I mentioned, he will be in Colorado next November. So it'd be great if we could all do that. Um, so he started off and I'm just going to try to highlight, I mean, there's so much and there were so many one liners that I would love to, um, you know, share each and every piece of everything I wrote down because it, it all had some meaning to it. I, it's something that I'll go back to, I know forever, you know, back to, ref, you know, reference. Um, but he started out um, because the Cubs had just won the World Series. So that's, that's kind of how he started because it's a mindset, you know, and how did they get to game seven in Cleveland in the extra inning? And um, how, you know, why were they there in the first place? But unfortunately, you know, here they are and they, it's theirs to win as well as Cleveland. And of course, I'm a, I was a Cleveland fan, um, but love the Cubs because of course they can't um, have all been there. But anyhow, it was all minds that he said in that extra inning, that coach of the Cubs took them back in there and he said, it's, we don't want to wait another year, you know, to add on to this hundred and some years that we haven't been in the World Series. Um, we had this vision in the beginning of the year. We're here. We made it to game seven. No one said we could do that when we were down three to one. You know you want it. You can see it. You can taste it. You know, that kind of thing. And, you know, he truly believes that that's what happened. Um, and I can't help to think that that's actually what happened with Donald Trump, President Trump, is that he saw that vision. Um, whether you like him or voted for him, he still made it happen because, um, you know, he just went through the process and saw it himself as president of the United States. And he made it happen somehow. So it's all about mindset. So that's how he started out. And then he went on to say, because that's what we all have so much difficulty about. But he went on to say there's, there's six things that keep us from having the right mindset. And I've, I'm sure that all of you have had all of these. And I know that quite a few of these um, are definitely big, big issues for me. And one of them is the comfort zone. That's number one. And of course, um, usually the comfort zone comes when you've had a good month. And so you kind of start out like, oh, I had a good month, you're celebrating, and you just get kind of in your comfort zone and you just don't, you know, you don't really maybe push yourself as hard as you would if you had a bad month maybe than the time before. Um, it robs you of your success and it usually happens after a great month is what he said. So, and you cannot be successful in, um, leading others if you can't lead your else. What is your issue? So the next one is fear. And of course, um, we all have that. But you know, he, he kept pointing out, um, why are you fearful? You know, what are you fearful of? You're, you're, you've got this great company, this great pro product, and everyone loves them, you know, they sell themselves. And you know, either whether you're going after a client or a business builder, I mean, what is that 
I mean, all they can do is say no. What are you worried about? <laughs> um, procrastination, that's huge for me. Um, I always just get so caught up with my other JLB, as I know we all do. And um, I just put things off, you know, until tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. So um, we have to be better at not procrastinating for sure. Excuses. <laughs> that's probably, uh, we all have excuses, you know, so-and-so needed to do this, or I need to do this, or I have to go to this event, and da, da 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 so we all have that kind of thing, but um, I think one of the points that he made here, and I'm sorry, I have to go back and review um, what, because um, there was something specifically, you can, oh yeah, you can make money or excuses, but you can't make both. And um, circumstances um, that you are in are obviously greater than the desire to win. So that's, that's um, true, I think. And drive and desires to win must be greater than the circumstances. Um, so, and then um, after excuses, there's negative self-talk. So um, you have to speak positive. You, you, you have to be... Um, drive yourself forward all the time. You have to always be thinking um, of, I, you know, again, I have this great company, this great product, and um, what am I worried about? What, there's nothing negative about this. So you have to choose life, basically. And he recommended a book, which I haven't had a chance to look at, but maybe some of you have read it, called The Power I Am. And I didn't write the author down, but... Um, so, and one of the other things he said is, what do we need, um, you are where you are because of the habits you created. So, um, which is so true. So if, you're, if you had a good month, you got there because you had great habits that month. And if you, if you had a bad month, that doesn't necessarily mean that you didn't do the work, as we all know, because you're creating for the next month. But you have to look back and maybe look at that and say, did I not, what did I do differently this month that I did that this other month? Um, so you've got to, um, oh, and here's, this is, this is really, um, let's see. Yeah, don't let other people's excuses become yours. That's for sure. Um, let's see. I don't make excuses. Oh, yeah, I don't make excuses, therefore I do not accept yours. That, that was kind of hit, that's the way he always taught his team. So, um, so what do you need to do to manage your mindset? Um, and that's what I think I've already done that. So you have to keep the vision in front of you, dream big. Um, the one thing that some of you might be really familiar with, it's called the gold goal card, G O A L. And, um, I really love this. So it's basically, you know, he had this little thing. We filled out this form. And it's something that you read, that he recommends that you read five times, well, 25 times in, in uh, one day. So five times at each time, probably five times a day or whatever. And you read it out loud and you do it with feeling and emotion and you know, say it like you mean it basically. And he said in seven days, look back and see if you've actually made um, progression in some way. So in the gold card reads, um, I am so happy and grateful for perfect health, unstoppable confidence, and a constant abundance of time, money, and freedom in my life. I attract the right people, the resources, and opportunities that will enable me to, and you always have whatever your very next level is. So if you're a consultant, then you want to become um, district man qual district man district manager qualification. You want to go into qual for district manager. If you are in qual, you want to be district manager. If you are already a district manager, you want a bonus. You know, you just want to go up to the next level, and you pick a date. So for me, for example, um, and I should have this memorized because I have read it like forty times already. <laughs> I am so happy and grateful for perfect health unstoppable confidence, and a constant abundance of time, money, and freedom in my life. I attract the right people, resources, and opportunities that will enable me to bonus as a district manager on or before December 31st. So I just say that five times in the morning, you know, five times in the car, wherever, and then, you know, kind of just repeat it throughout the day. And he said in seven days, he's, he wanted us all to like send him a note and say, you know, what happened. So. Um, Harry, can you 
say that one more time slowly? Oh, sure. I talk fast, I know. That's okay. I am so happy and grateful for perfect health, unstoppable confidence, and a constant abundance of time, money, and freedom in my life. Unstoppable confidence and what? Um, let's see. And a constant abundance of okay. time, money, and freedom in my life. Okay. Thank you. And then I attract the right people, resources, and opportunities that will enable me to, and then put your goal. And always put a date, obviously. Okay. Yeah, it basically, you know, he just kept saying, your mind is, is um, stopping you from making your goals. And, um, you know, I, I, I love this about it. He, he said, you know, everybody's like, oh, I can't say that that many times and, and so forth. And he's, he's like, you can do anything. He said, you people actually get people to join your healthy living challenge and, you know, have them stop eating gluten, um, you know, sugar, um, you know, dairy, alcohol. You, you get people to do that and you can't read this five times, <laughs> you know, 25 times in a day. He was, he's, he's just really funny. So um, the next thing he did was how to develop a winning a million dollar image. So how to develop a million dollar winning image. It's kind of a tongue twister. <laughs> so basically it's the self image in the way you see yourself and think about yourself. Um, but what he wants you to do is you're creating your winning image story. So it starts out with I, Sherry Teeter, and then you pick a specific date and goal again, but this one needs to be the big goal. So it needs to be the one really, you know, in the future of your radar. So for someone like myself, it would be the RVP. So I have to, you know, pick that as my big goal. And then I have to kind of write down the three obstacles that I'm going to need to go through to get to that process. And then again, you want to pick a date and you're writing this winning image as if it's present and it's just about to happen in the next 15 minutes. So for me, let's say if I'm writing this for this time next year, I'm going to be an RVP. Then I would put in there by, you know, November 30th or something like that. Um, but then I would write it as if it happened and we're in 2017 and here I am at say my car party and you just, Picture, you know, you kind of create that whole event in your mind, you know, what does it look like? Who's there? Who's speaking? Um, where are you? Um, and how did you get there, though? You know, just the journey. So, but you're writing it as if it's in present tense, um, you know, as a, like I said, in 15 minutes from now or something. So, and what was really cool about this um, is that, um, you, you, you could really have fun with this, but he shared Donna, Donna's winning image story. And it was written um, like in June of 2015, and it was about June of 2016. And of course, she did, you know, it was about this amazing trip and um, this magnificent vacation and how she earned it and, and all that. So anyhow, so that was pretty exciting. Um, yeah, so, um, so that's your winning image story. And then again, that's something that you're supposed to repeat twice a day. So say first thing in the morning and it actually, in, he recommends that it's the last thing that you say before you go to bed. So, and, and, you know, end your right before you're about to fall asleep and with, you know, your winning story image and he said it will be in your mind and when, you know, you'll just kind of create and you'll just every morning you'll wake up kind of and you'll sleep better is what he really feels. So I tried, I didn't write my, my story yet, but I did try going to sleep thinking about, you know, instead of all the things that I have to do tomorrow and how am I going to get them all done, which is usually what I do. <laughs> and then I wake up two um, hours later and um, I'm trying to work those things out, of course. So, um, so it's a great way to do that. Um, the next thing that he did, um, 
was uh, pr rejection proof prospecting. So, you know, again, telling prospecting is definitely a mindset. Um, how you have to get yourself in a place when you're mentally ready to prospect. You can do that with your affirmations. Um, I am a prospecting machine is one of them. People are excited to talk with me. People are excited to join my team. People want to sample and use our products for sure, right? Um, and I am making a difference in the world. You know, those are some of those um, affirmations. Um, so, and he said, instead of, you know, we get so fearful of going out and looking for a prospect, but basically you're not going out to look for a prospect. You can't look at it that way. You're going out to meet new people. So it's just like if you're, you know, he just gave several examples about how he would be, you know, just noticing somebody working hard and it looked like a very difficult job and he would just like spark a conversation with them. So um, just get to know people. And it's about building relationships and, um, then, you know, at some point in time, if, if it's just at the moment or if it's someone that you're building a relationship with, it is, you know, you're, you're asking them a question, is, um, is this where you want to be um, in five years? Or do you, are you, you know, open for options? And what is it that you don't like about your job? Um, you know, in, in some cases say, you know, time freedom, you know, I can't, I don't have enough time. I love my job, but I don't have enough time for my family. So there's your open opportunity. Um, you know, those kinds of things. Um, but he, you know, he's just like commenting on people, you know, I love your dress. I love your bag. You know, da, da, da. And you just, and you can tell immediately because someone's like, oh, really? I hate this bag. You know, <laughs> um, why do you ask? You know, my mother-in-law gave it to me and I don't really like her very much or something. <laughs> so, um, you know, you know, okay, next, <laughs> move on to the next person. Right. Um, so then he went on to sing um, about warm markets. And of course, we all start out with our warm market, family and friends or people you work with or whatever. Um, and he, he said, you know, of course, people get disappointed when they get rejected by family and friends, um, which we all have. Um, and if you're new, obviously you're running into that right away. But he said, the sooner that you run into this issue, the better off you are, because you're probably not gonna build your team from your warm markets. It's not, it's not that you won't, but you probably, you know, it's probably someone you don't even know right now is your winning team. So um, he just kind of, he said, don't set your winning, don't be stuck on your winning team either. Like, you know, you may think those are the perfect people, but it changes all the time and you never know who you're going to meet. And, and the most unlikely person could be the perfect person. Um, let's see. So then, um, so that as soon as you run out of the war market, you, you realize that it's time to move on and, you know, start prospecting just on people that you're meeting and using the discovery questions, um, which some of you probably are very, you know, familiar with, like, do you live here in their local area? What do you do for a living? That's what I was just talking about. What do you like most about what you do? Um, if you could change something, what would you change? Um, and then, you know, just, you might be able to help me. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Things like that. Um, I'm building a global health and wellness business and I'm uh, in charge of expansion in this local area. I'm looking for two to three business partners uh, to be part of my dynamic um, and growing team. So, and if not, if he says, no, I'm not really interested or she, you know, just ask for referrals and uh, move on. Next, that's his famous thing, next. <laughs> so, um, here is his idea of the million dollar rejection proof question. So my question is, do you plan on working at so-and-so for the rest of your life or do you still keep your options open? So that's what I just met. But that is, he said, you know, what the million dollar rejection proof question is. So, and nine out of 10 people are probably going to respond. Their options are open, right? Um, let's see. Um, and of course, um, we've all been, I think, trained on this. I hear Kim saying this all the time, lead with the business and then the products. And we have to keep remembering that. And how do you sound? Um, you know, keep it short and simple. So K-I-S-S, -S, KISS, keep it short and simple anytime that you're um, talking to someone. Um, everyone, you know, everyone wants and needs this. And, and that's why I don't know why we're so afraid, including myself. But um, it's you know, everyone needs to be healthy and um, make better choices for themselves and their family. And, um, and 
most people, you know, even if they have a fantastic job, um, do not have time on their side. So, but don't be afraid to ask those people because those are the people sometimes that are more open for suggestions and are looking for something, you know. Um, so, um, so again, you know, we just went on to describe specifically Arbon um, in general. And in, by the way, he uses 32 products a day, he said. <laughs> he said, I've already used my 32 products and it was only 11 in the morning or something. And his son, his son will only have protein smoothies for breakfast. He won't ever, like he's, he doesn't want pancakes, he doesn't want anything else, just a protein smoothie. So he had some great stories and he's been through a lot. And um, it, like I said, he had us crying and laughing, um, just really, really, really um, inspirational. Um, he went on to say, you know, if you're going to send a video, um, you know, and things like that, exchanging numbers, you know, just giving more suggestions about prospecting. Um, yeah, great. Then, in the in the event, if you're not interested in joining our team, um, you know, please, you know, keep us in mind for other things, and and you know, definitely try our products, that kind of thing. So, um, okay. So I think, yeah, keeping it short and simple. So then um, he went on to talk about uh, a company that he worked with. Um, so I won't share that with you, but about, um, he said, you think it's, it's difficult to share your, he said, think about how would you like to sell life insurance to people and um, unfortunately be the person that has to deliver the life insurance policy after someone passes away and uh, go over it with the widow or, or the family or whatever. So um, he said, how do you get up in the morning and get motivated to do that? You guys have health and wellness and all these great products and makeup and, you know, and, you know, all kinds of fun things to talk about. And he said, it's easy. He said, this is easy. You got this, right? Um, and that, that's when he, he went into, um, you need to have a purpose um, that's greater than the entire process. Um, what is the difference between a purpose and a why? Um, someone's why are the reasons that they're doing the business. Of course, we all, you know, retiring a spouse, caring for parents, traveling. Um, but someone's purpose is how they are doing it and impacting other people's lives. And I know this from my own business and it just came back to me after doing this for, you know, 37 years or something in the travel business. But I always remember because I used to work for other people before I started my own business. And um, when I left the company, um, it was a corporation and they were just like, you know, now you can't take your clients with you or whatever, they belong to us or something like that. But I learned quickly that people dealt, people deal with people. They don't deal, in other words, they're buying from you. They're not buying from Arbonne or they're, they're joining your team. They're not joining Arbonne, the company. You know what they are, but you know what I mean? It's you um, that, that's actually so important. So it's so important for you to, and once you start looking at your business builder that way as a you know, purpose and, and being yourself and, and like I said, building the relationships and not looking at the statistics and all the other things, then I think it will be easy. It makes much more sense because I, like I said, I know that so much from my company is from my travel business because people dealt with me that, you know, as soon as I left, they're like, well, I don't, what do I want to go there for? I, you know, I'm only doing business because I want to, I want you to do, take care of my business, my travel plans. So that is so true. So if you can turn your business into a cause, then you're on to something. That's, that's really where you're going to make a, dis a difference. We're looking for people and in Arbonne specifically, we're looking for people that are correcting an injustice. So we are the people you know, the whole, our whole country is under a terrible injustice in the fact that we are purchasing products that have all these toxins and chemicals in it that, you know, we don't know when you buy them at the store. Most people don't look at those labels. And I mean, I couldn't believe some of the things that he brought up as to some of the companies. Of course, we know um, Johnson and Johnson, but one of them was Frito-Lay. 
and how they actually had like weed killer in the sun chips. There's, there's some chemical in the sun chips that they're selling as a healthy product. Um, so that's our, I mean, that's really our sole purpose is that we need to make sure that people understand that this is what's going on and that's why we're doing what we're doing um, to create, you know, to, to make things better of this terrible injustice that's happening, injustice that's happening all over the country. So um, that's huge, I think. Um, because most of these companies, all they care about is profits, not about you. And we care about them. Um, and, you know, obviously we're, everybody's in business to make money, but our whole goal is to make things better for people, to have their families have a better life. Um, and, you know, we need to change the obesity in our country and all the, the diseases that are caused, the cancer, um, the heart attacks, the strokes. Um, Absolutely everything that you could imagine, of course, comes from eating all of these terrible um, products and also putting it on their, in, your, in our bodies and on our skin. So that, that I think that was huge. That's, that's pretty life changing, I think. As, and that's what we do is we change lives. So, but yeah, there was just something dangerous in those sun chips. I'm like, oh, I like sun chips. <laughs> so, um, so the process is not great all the time. You have to have a purpose. Oh, and, and he, he talked about, remember Rocky, uh, the movie, and um, how at the end. I don't know if anybody's watched Rocky, but anyhow. So I've gotta, I'm going to put that on my list of movies to watch because y you remember what a struggle it was. The, the guy still gets up at the end and you're like, really? <laughs> because he wanted to be, you know, he wanted to be who he was. So um, so then he said you should come up, you know, with your 10 second power statement always. Um, and he gave us an example. Um, I'm building a global business that's helping to improve the health and wealth and well-being of this world one family at a time. So I'm building a global business that's helping to improve the health, wealth and well-being of this world one family at a time. That's his what he thinks is a good 10 second power statement, but you can make it whatever you want it to be. Um, and you know, one of the things that he kept saying over and over again, that kind of stuck in my mind is why do you worry so much about what people think about you um, that are not interested? Like what, if they're, if they're not interested, that's fine. You just, you know, move on and um, you don't, your relationship doesn't have to be um, wrong, you know, because of that. So um we have to realize that we're fortunate um, to be selling, you know, to be in this business of health and wellness now at a perfect time um, when, you know, everything is so much, you know, so many chemicals and toxins in our body. Um, so again, yeah, this is, um, you have to, yeah, develop the trifecta belief system, believe in the industry, Belief in the products of the company and believe in yourself. Um, that's and get rid of all your negative thoughts. Um, yeah, your mindset is made by default or by design. So you have to live by design and make your own design. Um, let's see. He went on. Let's see. I think. Um, oh, there were some other things. Let let go. These are great tips. Six things that we need to let go of to begin developing a sponsoring, developing the sponsoring mindset. So we can. And I thought this was kind of important. So um, you want to stop comparing yourself to other people. Um, you know, it's like we all have the same tools and we all have different lifestyles and we all have different timelines and stuff. So you can't compare yourself, um, you know, to any, to any other people stop worrying about and caring what other people think about you. Um, you become bitter. And I like that when he said, if you compare yourself with someone, then you become bitter. Um, when you don't have a great month, I like this. Get off of Facebook. <laughs> um, you know, because you're probably spending too much time running through that feed, as I know we're all guilty of sometimes. Uh, trying to please everyone. 
you, you cannot do, you have to let go of that. You can't please everyone. Um, spending so much time with so few people. Uh, you need to, it's a numbers game. Get your 40 faces in um, and, and don't stop at that. If you make it to 40 faces, then, you know, again, it's like if your goal is 2,500, if it's 5,000, if it's 10,000 and you get there, don't stop. If it's the middle of the month, keep going. Um, manage all your players. So if you do have a team, um, know who, who they are and, and what each one's do. do. Um, so managing the players. And let go of what you cannot change. So your past does not define you. Um, it prepares you. So you, you know, that totally, you understand what that is. Um, if, if you have a team and someone quit, you know, the, he was kind of bringing up how um, sometimes when you have a big team and they, you know, two of your great people quit, um, you, can't, you can't dwell on that. You can't change that. It happened. So you just have to say, okay, well, I just have to keep going. And that's why if you have five people on your team, if you have two people on your team or you have three people and that was your goal, you can't stop. You have to keep going for as many as you can because you are going to have people that quit. That just happens. That's nature. Something happens in someone's life and they can't do it at this time anymore. It doesn't mean they will not come back to it, but um, whatever the reason is, they, you know, people do quit. And so keep building that. Um, Fill your skillet with popcorn kernels. That's how he used it. So, um, because you know how they pop at different times. <laughs> so I thought that was a good analogy. Um, don't let the things of your past stay on your mind. Let it go. And that's a good lesson in life, I think. Not just for our business, right? Um, so, um, I think... That's about it. Um, not it, but um, just sorry. I'm reading my, reading my notes to make sure I covered everything that I wanted to. And, and like I said, there were so many different one-liners. Um, if you have the opportunity ever to listen to any of his uh, SoundClouds, for sure, um, he does have tapes that you can purchase. Um, but he's he's amazing, and he's a great in-person. Per you know what I mean? It's great to be there in person to feel his energy and. Um, I've never sat through anything like that for, you know, eight hours basically with a few breaks <clears throat> and not been tired of it and been nodding off or whatever. So um, just filled with so much energy and totally believes in, and he believes in Arbonne. Um, this is why he's associated with our, you know, why he loves training and coaching leaders in Arbonne and doing these um, summits because he believes in the products. He believes, he, he said, I have to work with people that have a purpose. Um, and um, that's what it is truly. So um, anyhow, thanks for joining us. I, I, I hope that was informative and not all over the place. Sorry, I haven't done this very often. So, um, but I can't tell you how awesome it was. So. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. perfect, Sherry, absolutely. Loved, loved, loved all that information. And um, I will uh, send you a quick text. And maybe if you'll on our Facebook page, on Eleanor's Facebook page, write a couple, type out a couple of the, you know, like the um, affirmation statements and the power statement. Um, put those on Eleanor's Facebook page. That way we can all copy them down and, um, and, and read those daily. But Wow, super. I am, um, I'm just excited that you got to go and, and share that with, with you. And, you know, as for everybody else on our teams, if you have the opportunity to go and um, to, to another nations or another um, summit or something like that and see other people, go and do it because you can see from Sherry's excitement and how much that she learned that it is well worth your time. And that's, you know, part of our personal development. That's the, uh, you know, the, the shot of um, energy, the shot of motivation, the, the, um, you know, just what we need to fill our cups up. And so if you get the, that opportunity, and wow, that is so amazing to be able to go and be there live. So Sherry, thanks so much for um, sharing with us. I just, you know, 
gosh, you know, we recorded this so you can go back and listen to it again to write down some of the statements to really delve into it. And you can stop and write, stop and write as you um, listen to the recording. But I want to just close with a couple things um, for November. And it's, it's always, I always find it so amazing that when, when two people, three people, present at the same time and we don't coordinate what we're going to say it's always amazing how they we say the same thing and you know it's just it's so important it, it is what we are in Arbonne so when you know I'm talking about reaching your November goals the first thing is decide what you really want with your Arbonne business and that's what Sh Sherry was telling us you got to decide what is your why and what is your purpose? Because you got to know these crystal clear because everybody knows who's had a business for a month or more. You run into some struggles. You run into some no's. And so if your why and your purpose is not right there front and center in front of you, you know, you'll come up with the excuses. And especially during this time of year, this time of year can be amazing for building your business because people are shopping right now, but you can use the excuses of being too busy or other people are too busy to not continue to go out and ask, or you can continue to go out and ask because your why and your purpose, you know exactly why you're building your art on business because there are people who are wanting to shop. There are people who are wanting to join your business. We just have to get out there and ask and what's going to, What's going to push us to ask is knowing our why and our purpose. And then number two, who are you going to help? And this is the people, identify those people on your team who you want to help promote and identify the people in your network that you want to um, become your, your preferred clients or your next business builder and write down their names because if it's just up in your head, you will get distracted and you won't ask those people to, um, to take a look at the business or take a look at our products. And then number three, we have to paint the picture, you know, and we have to tell the Arbonne story. That is really what we do as Arbonne independent consultants. We paint that picture and we tell the Arbonne story. So you share your vision, paint that picture means you share your vision of what an Arbonne business means to you and what you're going to accomplish with it, with it, what your purpose is. You have to share this with everybody that you come in contact with because we have in this in, in our society we have so many choices for products for businesses i mean it's on and on you have to give people a reason to stop and take a look at you and take a look at your products so you got to paint that really big vivid picture for them and the number four what do we do i mean really it is so simple we schedule we sell or share and we sponsor and it all begins with the ask. And so, you know, what are we scheduling? We're scheduling events and parties and one-on-ones. And how do we get those? We have to ask, we have to talk to people. And when you get a few no's, it's okay because we're reading those affirmations daily that, that help us believe and help us know that we can be a success in this business. So focus on what you want and focus on who you want to help. Paint that big picture. Show your prospects, show your team what is possible by building your business, by going out there and doing it, going out, going out there and asking. And when it comes all right down to it, everybody always wants to know, what is the secret sauce to building a successful Arbonne business? And the secret sauce is being all in, exactly what Sherry was saying. You close the back door, you know there is no reason for us not to share these amazing products and this amazing opportunity with people. So be all in, know that what you have is an amazing opportunity and amazing products and go out there and share them. And you know, build your business. And when other people see you building your business, they're going to be attracted to you and want to join you. So that's it, guys. I think we have a lot 
to go on. It's really, to me, I was looking at the calendar and for me, it's really like still the first and, you know, second week of the month. I mean, really last month I was busy. I mean, last week I was busy tying loose ends up and this week I am all out there talking with people, contacting people and letting them know the great, um, um, the great deals that Arbonne has with the ASVPs going on now. We have so much to offer our clients. We have such a big opportunity to offer the people we have that we have on our dream team. So we just need to go out there and do it. So I'm going to close there. Everybody have a great November and um, just believe in yourselves because I truly believe in each and every one of you. You are a successful businesswoman and you can build this business, you know, to accomplish your why and to, to live your life on purpose. So thanks again, everybody, for being on and have a great evening. Good night. Thank everybody. you, Sherry. Everybody's speaking. Bye. Bye.